What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John and today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're looking at the Apple AirPods. Specifically right in front of me, I have the first gen AirPods. So a couple things to know before you go out and buy a pair of AirPods. There are two versions. There is a version with a wireless charging case and then there is the original version with the non wireless charging case. One retails for $159 and the other retails for $199. You can also buy the wireless charging case separate for $79.99. But today, I decided that I would pick up from my local Apple store at Coconut Point the original AirPods for $159. I do not have a wireless charging mat, so unfortunately for me, uh, I wouldn't have any use for the wireless charging case. But let me just say that this product is absolutely sold out wherever you go. At any big box retailer, you will not find the Apple AirPods. So you will either want to order them online at the, at the Apple store or head out to your local Apple store to pick up a pair. And if you're lucky, you'll get even the ones for 159. So let's start off with the box here. You get this really beautiful pair of Apple AirPods, their actual size embossed on the front of the box here. You can run your hand over them and, and see what they feel like and, and there's a bit of a texture there which is really cool which adds an extra element to Apple boxes that I haven't seen before. So normally when you get an iPhone it's usually a two dimensional image. This one is a bit three dimensional. Okay, so on the back of the box here, it says it's compatible with iOS device, Apple Watch, or Mac with the interest with the latest software. So these are the AirPods with charging case designed by Apple in California and made in China. If we bring it around to this side here, we've got AirPods in silver, which is really nice. These are this is a really clean, really sharp box. And on the very back, we get a picture of our AirPods in their charging case with the lightning connector, uh, not embossed, but two dimensional, which is really nice. Okay, so inside the box, let's go ahead and check these out, what's on the inside here. You get designed by Apple in California, typical standard paperwork, but from what it looks like, you do not get a lightning cable to charge the Apple AirPods with. And that's because Apple is assuming already that you have a wireless charging cable, but if you just lift out this little tab here, you will end up finding that there is actually a lightning cable on the at the bottom of the box, which is really nice of them to include. So unfortunately this year, Apple did not release the black AirPods. I'm sure they will next year or the year after. But you know what? For now, I really enjoy the fact that they came in white. I think Apple does a great job making products in white and this is in typical Apple fashion what they look like in white. So I've already unboxed the AirPods and here they are in their charging case here. And what's really, really cool about these is they are super compact and easy to carry around. And what's really nice is this charging case uh, does a charges these little AirPods up in about 15 minutes. So as you can see on the inside is a little green light. Now what's different from the first generation AirPods to the second generation AirPods is this light actually makes its way to the front of the case so that you can see when you're charging it on a wireless mat. Otherwise, they are practically identical and you won't really notice any difference except for maybe uh, this, this stainless steel strip on the back is actually matte stainless on the AirPods second generation. As we're on this first generation, it is a shiny stainless. So let's go ahead and check out what the AirPods look like in the air. So mine are a little bit greasy as you can, as you can tell. They're hard to get out sometimes, which is one thing that I dislike about them. But you plug them in, you just simply put them in your ear and the trick actually, 
The trick actually to getting these to work well is to simply open up the case while the screen is on, I found. So if you open up the screen while the case is, if you open up the case while the screen is on, let me demonstrate for you. It tends to work like magic. So here are our AirPods. And let's go ahead and just open up the AirPods like so, and they should connect right away. So if the screen is on, a little notification should come up saying that we've connected our AirPods here. There they are. So as we see, we've got 100% in the AirPods and we've got an 85% charge to the charging case. So if actually you just take your thumb and, and flick them off to the side a little bit, you can get them to swivel out. So now we're connected and we can see what they sound like. So let's go ahead and listen to some royalty free music here. So far, I am very fortunate that these fit in my ear the way they do. If you've seen some of my other videos, we, we reviewed the um, Bose SoundSport wireless free earbuds about three or four weeks ago and they had this really cool mechanism where you twisted that you literally screwed them into your ear so that they would stay put. Uh, I don't have any issues keeping these in my ear. They fit in my ear very well and I have someone uh, who actually have two different sized ears but these fit in my ear pretty well and I'm very happy about that. Uh, now one thing that I want to mention is what they sound like and I, and I really want to stress that they actually are so much nicer than your typical earbuds here that you have to untangle all the time. They are a little bit better than your typical earbuds uh, from Apple, both in sound quality, functionality and utility. So let's go ahead and listen to some royalty free music here if I can find some. And as you can see, they're not necessarily connected right away, which is a little bit unfortunate. They sh they're supposed to connect right away. Um, I've had some issues getting them to connect, but it's really just as easy as going into your settings and connecting them through Bluetooth to get them to work. So let's go back here and we'll listen to this royalty free music. So they're on now. The battery life on these things um, is tremendous. So expect in about 15 minutes to get um, a, a near full charge if you're charging from about 50% and expect the case to last at least a day. The sound quality on these headphones, on these AirPods, is better than your typical Apple earpods that you get in the box. And then when you're done with them, you simply take them out of your ear, they disconnect from the iPad or from wherever you have them connected, and they go right back in their charging case. And just like that, you have your beautiful AirPods and no wires, just like that. They're extremely fun to use. They're super convenient and they make for a great birthday gift or present to anybody uh, looking who, who enjoys casual listening, who enjoys working out. These are great for maybe taking a walk around the neighborhood. Um, I wouldn't recommend listening to them in a gym or in a work or in an environment that is loud, such as at a workplace but I would recommend using them around the house. You know, if you're going for a walk outdoors, fine, use them. If you're traveling, use them in the airport. Uh, if you're working from home, if you're sitting in your office where it's quiet, where you can listen to them casually and take calls, these are perfect. So once again, the Apple AirPods are a convenience good. The build quality of these, the build quality of the Apple AirPods is um, an eight out of 10. Really nice build quality. The price is a little bit steep, but you are getting what you are paying for. Good sound quality, good
good sound quality, convenience, you're getting the integration, the seamless integration with all of your Apple products. So simply open them up and use them with your MacBook Pro, your iPad, or your iPhone, or your Apple Watch. The design is second to none, of course, as you would expect from Apple. They have set the trend in terms of ear pods. What's really nice about these is the stock actually has a little stainless steel ring at the bottom, which is a really nice touch. And what's really cool is they snap right into place when you put them into the case. So form, they are extremely convenient. Like I said, they are small, lightweight. They are very compact. The charging case is great for listening, for keeping these earbuds, for keeping these AirPods charged up for the day. And the functionality of them is, I would say, about a five out of 10, because sometimes if your ears are a little bit greasy, like mine are, it's hard to get the AirPods out of the case, but otherwise the functionality of these is pretty practical, it's pretty good. So my name is John. The Apple AirPods are a convenience good. I picked mine up at my local Apple store. This is the first generation Apple AirPods. I picked them up for $159. You can get the second generation AirPods for $199. There is absolutely no difference in terms of sound or build quality or design. They are exactly the same, minus a few changes to the charging case. My name is John. The Apple AirPods are a convenience good and Thank you so much for watching.